If you want to learn how to make a hybrid cocktail, it's like an espresso martini with a bit of tekiness, keep watching and let's talk drinks. Hello everybody, coming from the 18th Amendment Bar here in Geelong. It's nearly summer and it's pissing down rain everywhere and it hasn't stopped raining for the last like month pretty much. So hopefully it's going to get a lot better. Now, today I'm going to make a drink that is called Martin Hudak's Espresso Martiki. Martin, I love what you do, mate, but please, can you stop winning so much awards and let some of our other venues like us win some too, okay? Your trophy cabinet must be massive. Just joking. I love what you do, mate. Um, so what I love about this cocktail is when I read the, the ingredients for the recipe is, this is kind of, for me, a drink that represents everybody in the industry uh, that I respect and admire. So um, it's a rum based cocktail. So the first ingredient that I'm going to use, it is 40 mils or ounce and a third of a dark rum. Now I'm going to use the Equiano rum, uh, Ian Burrell, the global rum ambassador. If you haven't heard of him as well, you, have, you need to start uh, YouTubing and Googling these guys, they're amazing. I love this rum. Uh, there's a link at the end. I did a, a review on this rum a little while ago and it is absolutely sort of, sort of, it's not sort of, it's absolutely delicious. And 40 mils, or ounce and a third of the Equiano rum. Next ingredient is 20 mils of a coffee liqueur. Uh, Martin, <laughs> know who you work for, Mr. Black. So this is also our house coffee liqueur at all of my venues. Next up, it is 15 mils or half an ounce of an orgette. Jason Crawley. <laughs> it's like I'm sucking up to everyone in this video. Um, love you, Jason. Can't wait to get back to Sydney. This is just like a really fantastic version. Uh, not a version, just a recipe of an orgette. I'm a little bit lazy and don't make it myself because when I can buy it and it tastes this good, why would I bother? Next up, it is 30 mils or an ounce of pineapple juice. Who do I know that's called pineapple juice? No one. However, the pineapple is a symbol of hospitality. I'm just gonna stick with that one. And last but not least, uh, we've got 15 mils. Is it 15 mils? Oh no, 30 mils one ounce of an espresso. I'm using an Ethiopian blend from Coffee Cartel. Uh, they're next door, Nathan Johnson. He uh, goes out and has got these amazing crazy photos of him with uh, AK-47s and stuff like that all over the world. Uh, well, not him with AK-47s, but his miners because he goes into some really uh, crazy remote places. Uh, this is one from Ethiopia. He really knows his coffee and I love what he does. And I just had a coffee, one of his about 10 minutes ago. That's my sucking up to all these uh, legends in the industry. We're gonna give it a shake. Plenty of ice in the shaker there. Really wanna get that crema happening uh, from the coffee and also the pineapple juice will really leave it a nice crema as well on top. open it nice and cold this will be served up in a coupette or a martini glass make sure you chill down your glassware beforehand yeah, I'm loving that crema on top And for the garnish, it is some beautiful flowers. I'm gonna use this massive purple viola. And this is Martin Hudak's Espresso Martiki. Never tried it, first time, let's see. Okay, now I know why you're winning all the awards. Um, 
That is probably my most favourite version of an espresso martini that I've ever had. Um, I wouldn't have thought of putting pineapple juice with coffee like that, but it just works so well. That orge is coming through and it's giving a really nice body to the cocktail. Uh, I can still taste the rum, which is fantastic. Um, coming through nicely. That is a perfect match and I'm glad that I, I picked that rum for it. And no, they don't sponsor me. I just really love this stuff. Guys, you need to try this. Uh, this would be fantastic for your friends. This would be fantastic on a cocktail menu. Like honestly, might even look at putting uh, this on, on the menu. Um, we're working and developing a new menu at the moment. So guys, please like, subscribe, help me build my channel and we'll see you again soon on Let's Talk Drinks.